And one of those things we need to learn is that a four mile salvation package is the ability to be able to, to, to enjoy the fruits of our life. But we say, we want to, everybody say fruit barriers. Fruit, fruit barriers. barriers. Fruit barriers. Fruit and it's barriers. Fruit barriers. So Jesus, he, you know, for, for us to, to, to live a, a good life, Jesus had, had to destroy the works of the devil. And if you want to first go to first John, first John chapter three, verse eight. He came to do what? To destroy the okay. works of the devil. Because Satan came to what? To kill, steal, steal yeah. and destroy. Well, what if the Son of God himself say, okay, he's been causing it to happen for thousands of years. So the Father say, the Son is manifested. That's what the scripture say. Go to uh, 1 John chapter 3. And I, uh, I might go to different verses in the Bible. You just have to get in the habit of writing stuff down because yeah. you need to go in your own time and study it when you can get the benefit out of learning the word of God and how to interpret scripture. Because the Bible is a big puzzle that uh, is masterly and wonderfully put together by God. 1 John chapter 3, verse 8. We want to live this good life, but we're going to have a lot of distractions. Some of us going to be our own distractions. And you're going to have a lot of people that come against you, even those you love. But you, you got to, uh, just like the, 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 the uh, I mean, the Valentine's Day program, you got to love on, learn how to love. And all, the, the, the last one is the God. That's the selfless, unconditional love. And that's like the time that we in right now. Everybody got it? 1 John 3. Chapter 8, I mean, chapter 3, verse 8. This, and, and you try to uh, write this verse down. This is one of the main reasons why Jesus came. Satan was causing havoc throughout the whole world. Now, listen to this. He that committed sin was the devil. The first one that ever sinned against God himself was the devil. The devil was an archangel, okay? The Bible said he was an archangel over the choir of heaven. He lived in heaven with God as an a angel. He was the highest ranking angel, or one of the highest ranking angels, James with Michael. But you know what? They say he was over the choir. And he, he was such a beautiful spirit of angel. But you know what? He sinned. Where did he sin? He sinned in hell. Man was the first one that to sin. Actually, it was Satan. Yeah. It says here, that's not my word. You read what you, your, your Bible says. He that committed sin. S I N, that's singular, was what? Of the, of the devil. Uh -huh. the, the, for the devil, the devil himself, what did he do? He committed a sin um, against who? Uh, against God. Now, there's no redemption, no salvation for angels. So when an uh, angel sinned, they, they, they forever in a, uh, in a place of hell, meaning that they don't have no forgiveness. God ain't have no forgiveness plan. But when Satan sinned, what happened to Satan? Jesus said he fell. God kicked him out of hell. It was a war in heaven. And you want to read this, you can read this in Revelation. Even though the war in heaven is in the last book of the Bible, listen to me good when I say this. That war took place before the beginning of the Bible. Before uh, the beginning of Adam. In other words, before Adam was born, even though it's in Revelation, that war took place. Uh, Adam was born. Yeah. And that is how I make you understand when, I, when, when, when Satan was in hell, Adam, no uh, humanity was born, had, had life. Mm -hmm. So Satan sinned from the beginning, even though it's written in Revelation, right? It's written in Revelation about the war in heaven. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Uh, it's written in Revelation about, about the war in heaven. But that war took place before Adam was, uh, became a uh, Alive. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So when they had this war, what happened? The Bible says Satan fell in a third of the angels. He, he took them with him. Mm -hmm. And what? He sinned, he got kicked out of hell. And so look, Satan understands that he can't directly fight against God. He, was, he, was, he wasn't fighting. I mean, he wasn't going against God, he was going against other angels. <laughs> you read the Bible. So why I'm telling you all this, I'm telling you all this because Jesus. Look at the verse eight. He that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. Yes, Lord. For this purpose. For this purpose. What purpose? For 
this person because the devil, the devil said the son of God was, was manifested. Point blank. Before any man was born, before Adam was created and all that, the son of God was manifested because yes, the devil sinned. Now, now you, you, you need to understand that this powerful point about the Bible. When the devil sinned and he fell to the earth, and normally like you say, go to the earth. Because that evil one night has came to the earth and he's going to cause havoc. And he did. He does cause havoc. But look, he don't, the way he go against God is, 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 is tempting any human to sin. In other words, he try to go against God by getting any uh, person that's created by God to, to live a life of sin. Yes, right? Lord. Yes. yes, Lord. His job is cause sin, cause a person to be tempted and to sin against God. What's the main arsenal in Satan's uh, arsenal? Uh, the law. Let me say that again. What's the main arsenal in, in, in Satan's devices? The law. Yes, Lord. Because he, uh, see, he's sin, right? And you know, when he sinned, did, did he die? No. <laughs> Spirits don't die. He, the Bible don't say he, he when Satan sinned, he, he, he died and was buried. It says he fell Hallelujah. to the earth. Yes, he did. did he die? No. He lost his place and position, and he, he's still spirit. Spirits don't die. They, they go to the to, to a place of hell to just stay there forever. But listen, I, I, I want you to understand something. What happened when, when man sinned? The Bible said the wage of sin is death. Yes, Lord. Right? And so look, Satan did die, but, but but the law, the law says the wages of sin is death. Guess what? Death affects people in such a heavy way. Well, Satan had to love death. When Satan seen the first person die and, and seen the, the, the repercussion of how it made people feel. Yes, Think about yes. it. Think about this. He got Adam to see it, and, and you know what? What? Go to Genesis for a second. Go to Genesis uh, chapter 12. Say, Genesis. First thing Satan did was get what? Eve. Adam and Eve, what? To sin. Right? Mm -hmm. Both of them. Let's go to chapter 3. And Adam was deceived. Amen. And God, God had already gave them one commandment. Okay, before you go to chapter three, look at chapter two. He gave them one commandment. But remember, Satan said, "Okay, if God kick me out of heaven for sin, for sin against him, what would He do for man?" Well, God already knew what He'd do to man. Look, look at chapter two. Uh, look at verse uh, sixteen. You got. It? And I hope you get some good, good knowledge from this uh, sermon teaching today. Listen, and the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. And that's probably been the first time the word free was used in the Bible. Right? So, you know, everybody loves sweet things. Right? He said, uh, Thou mayest freely eat. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. But in the day that thou eatest them, thou shalt surely die. Now, uh, death comes from what? Comes from uh, sin. The Bible says, by the wages of sin uh, is death. So that 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 right uh, there, you know, uh, causes a lot of fear in life. Everybody says fear. Yeah. Even though. Uh, you, you gotta die, but if you even hear something about death, it, it starts to affect the way you think. And Satan uses it. Satan uses this subject of death, you know, as a tool to cause us to live in fear most of our entire life. Mm -hmm. Look, look what I'm trying to show you. I'm saying Satan sinned against God. He fell, and then his job now is to uh, go against God by causing his own creation, humanity, to sin. Because he knows. 
God is the one, not Satan. This is, Satan did not have the power of death. God did. Yeah. And I'm going to show you that first. I'm trying to tie it in together for you. We're going to go look at Hebrews 2 and 14. Why? Because the Bible says Satan had the power of death. Well, who had the power uh, originally? God. Yeah. God said, life and death is in the power of my hand. Right? I don't like death in the power of my hand. But Satan, but Satan used the word of God in his uh, craftiness against man, against humanity. Most people do not know how to interpret the Bible. And they make all type of bad interpretations and, 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 and uh, un, uh, not, the way they interpret scripture, a lot of them is wrong. And so they, they cannot walk with God by, you know, if you don't have a, 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 a love affair by understanding scripture, if you don't learn something, you don't like it. Mm-hmm. Most people don't continue to do things that they don't learn how to do. It's the same thing about the Bible. People that read the Bible and don't understand what it's saying, they're not going to have a love affair with God and they ain't going to put no money to it. They don't understand. But listen to this. Satan used this uh, to keep people in bondage. Look what he did. Uh, God said, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. One of the day that thou eat thou shalt surely die. God said that. So how did Satan use that? Go to chapter 3. Satan used this this scripture that God wrote against man. <laughs> by, by what? To deceive, to deceive him, to mm-hmm. trick him. Mm-hmm. So look, now look at chapter 2. What did he do? He took that verse, I mean, and he used it as an arsenal in his, in his, uh, in his, uh, within his power. So in his arsenal, he used death, the fear of death that caused man was to live a lifetime of bondage. What did he do? He talked to the woman, and to and the woman said, "Listen, the way you may eat of the fruit of the tree of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree in verse three, you should, in the midst of the garden, God has said, you shall not eat of it, neither take to the next to die." And the serpent said unto the woman, "You shall not surely die." Okay. Now, uh, and you understand that most people on earth fear death. Now I go to Hebrews two and fourteen. Now I go to Hebrews. And you know what? It, it causes people not to trust God financially, not to trust them, their own self, and not only that, uh, to just live in bondage. Go to Hebrews right quick. Satan failed. He sinned against God. Now he tricked man, and he got Adam and Eve to sin against God. Go to Hebrews chapter 2. And hopefully you write this stuff down. Go to Hebrews. This is how you start learning how to understand scripture. Satan was wise enough to say, you know what? Most people, they gonna fear death. I don't care who they are, they, they'll fear death. The average person fear death whether he's saved or not. Look at 2 and 14. Did everybody got it? Mm-hmm. For as much did as the children of partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same. Who? You remember uh, first John 3 and 8? Do you remember what that said? That says that. He that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sin is from the beginning. For this purpose, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. One of the works of the devil is fear. Mm-hmm. Now, he got Adam and Eve to sin against God because he know after they sin, what happened to them? Anybody know? They started killing. Right. They hid themselves, right? They hid themselves of the one. That gave them life. Think about this. <laughs> they hid themselves from the God who gave them life and then told them of all the trees of the garden, thou way is freely eat. Right? So why would you hide yourself from a God that gave you life and then gave you what you wanted to eat freely without a charge? But look, Satan deceived them, got them to sin, and what happened? They knew that they was going to die. They didn't die immediately. But they knew that they was going to die. Yes, so. And so what? Even today, people that uh, start thinking about get, uh, they, if they get in some deep sin, what happens to the, to the thoughts? They start thinking about dying. And you done wronged somebody, robbed somebody, lied to somebody, cheated somebody, 
Them thoughts may flow through your mind. And yet, you, you had to know that Adam and Eve, after they sinned, it broke. They had, everybody said a nervous breakdown. Nervous breakdown. Like, you know they had. They had a nervous Just think when you do mess up stuff, and then you try to figure out how to get out of it. Yes, think about Lord. Keith James when he sinned against uh, Bathsheba, committed yes, adultery, Lord. got a little bit of his. And Nathan, Nathan, Nathan the prophet said, God will always be with you. This is what I'm trying to tell you. When, you, when they sinned against God, they mind just flipped. First of all, they hid. They were afraid. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. And I'm going to show you how Satan got the power of death. He got the power of death from the, from the word of God. In other words, actually, after that is what the law came in. I'm going to get ahead of myself. But the law came in. And he used the law today to accuse people of sin. Which, uh, the Bible says, you know, he, he's the accused of his brother. But look at, look at chapter 2. Let me not get ahead of myself. Uh, chapter 2, verse 14. For as much then as the children of fortune of flesh and blood, he also, also himself like wise to the part of the same, that through death, the, the one thing uh, that most people fear Christ did. What did Christ do? He died. Yes, he died. And, and when he, he died, he didn't die for his own self. He died for us. How did, I mean, when he did that, some should have took place uh, in creation. And what should took place? Everybody says salvation. Salvation. The proper way to understand salvation is a life of, everybody says power. Power. It's a life full of power. Your, your salvation it, 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 it is full of God giving everybody some power. power. And this power is yes, cause you to, to the ability to do what? What, what, what? Right. is this power in our salvation? What does it give us? What, what does, how does it help us as a person? Well, the Bible says uh, Jesus died to do what? To, do, to destroy yes, him God. that had the power of death that is the devil. Okay. Now, this was thousands of years ago when this stuff happened. Thousands of years ago sure. when Jesus died. But you know, even today, people still have a high level of fear. They have high level, they live with high level of fear of, of, of starving the dead, not being able to pay their bills, dying. All the things that the world consists of, and Satan is, is behind all this fear stuff, right? He, he, he's but, but the Bible says God didn't give us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. But most people uh, don't know how to interpret scripture. Satan uses the word of God, and he causes people to what? To fear. Yes, to, to walk, everybody say unbelief. Unbelief. He just, he just need to create a doubt. Yes, Lord. But you know what that did? When they, when they sinned, look, that affected more than what they thought. <laughs> Not, don't think about dying uh, today or tomorrow. Think about paying those bills. Yes. That's what you need to think about. Look, when they did that, yes, it, it just wrote the day way of life. Yes, yes, Lord. First, way, first thing, that freely stuff, uh, it wasn't no money. <laughs> <laughs> they had to get out of the joint of me. Yes, Lord. The Bible said, go and put a, a big old wings and put a big yes, old yes, sword. Yes, they turned it in other words, it took a while to, you know, bring and put them in the midst of the court and yell. You know what I'm saying? And look, they had to live hard. They're like, what is hard? Sweat, Lord. Sweat, Lord. Go, go back to Genesis. Let, let's look at this. Go back to Genesis. What if you, what if you as a believer, you live in hard, uh, you know, mouth of faith. You, you can't get nothing. And you know what? It, it's just simple, a simple understanding of, of, of the way. If I can get you to understand the power of the wings. First of all, the fear level has to come down. It has to be. Everybody said anxiety. anxiety. The stress level. It has to come down. Yes. It has to come down to your knowledge of the salvation package according to the scripture. Let's go back to Genesis. When that happened, they, hey, they didn't die. The Bible said Adam lived to be nine, almost 900 some years old. And look, yes, what happened was they didn't have that, 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 that life sentence to live no more. It was gone. It was gone. The Bible says, go down to Adam punishment. Go down to Adam. First of all, well, let, let me not skip over uh, two things. Let me 
me not skip over this. Go to Ewing chapter 3 and finish. Amen. I don't want to skip over the two important things that I saw this morning in this text. Look at look at uh verse 4, Genesis 3 and 4. We get to say amen. I don't know if you count this when you read it, but I want to show you what I saw that I didn't see before. And a serpent said unto a woman, you, uh, uh, now, that's not it. Go down where the point is here. Go down to verse uh, 13. Chapter 3? Yeah. I want, I want to read where he starts bringing the punishment to you. 3. 3 and 13. Okay, I got it. Go to 14. Go to 14. Verse 14. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle. Stop there. That serpent was the serpent. It, it ain't uh, Satan got in the serpent, but the serpent itself, meaning everybody say the animal, the animal. He was punished. That the, 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 the serpent was punished. Satan ain't got punished. <laughs> now look at that again. Yeah. The, the cow. And you're going to be cursed of a wild cow. Remember, Satan is a spirit. So, that, that, God had that part of it to, to, to the animal, right? Now, go to 14. I mean, 15. Go to 15. And I will put every teeth into it. Now, now, he's talking about Satan. Mm -hmm. Something you probably you missed so easy. He, he pointed to serpent, but then. 15 is not going to take place until thousands of years. Okay. That's Jesus. In, them two in other words, when you read the Bible, and two little verses can be uh, today, and then the next verse can be talking about thousands of years in the future. And that's how people misinterpret the reading of the Bible. When you look at verse 15, this don't happen until Jesus died for sin. Right. Remember I told you, that Satan had the power of, of death, right? Yes, Lord. And, and so Jesus had to die himself to bruise the devil's hand. Mm. Look at that verse again, 15. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman. Now, Jesus was going to be a virgin birth for Mary. Yes. So he's saying between Mary's seed, the woman's seed, rather, and, 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 and the, uh, Satan's seed. Yes, Meaning, Lord. It is people that are not going to serve God no matter what, right? That's why he say two seeds. He says, uh, look at it again. I'll put in between thee and the woman in between thy seed and her seed. So you may have people that don't uh, show enough going to serve Satan, right? And then you have people that don't serve the Lord. But that verse there is talking about Christ. When it says seed, not S with the seed, it's talking about one person. Yeah. Who is that person? Yeah. Yes, Lord. What, what is Jesus going to do? How is Jesus going to bruise Satan's head? If you don't understand, you're going to miss it to the last of So what verse can we go to to show us Jesus bruising Satan's head? Who knows? Colossians. Go to Colossians. You need to know the verse where that actually takes place. Go, go to uh, Second Colossians. And Colossians, you know, after Corinthians and Jesus and all that. You want to go to the verse that shows you when this takes place. And then you will start learning how to understand the Bible and start you know, understanding the scriptures. When you get to say amen. What tells me uh, when this happens? What, what, when does Genesis 3 and 15 actually happen in the Bible? It happens at the cross of Calvary. Look, everybody got Colossians? Mm -hmm. Now look at two things happen. Uh, at Calvary. Well, more than two things, but in, in these verses, Colossians 2, everybody got it? 14, Amen. 15. First of all, Satan had the law in his hand, in his arsenal, and he would use that to uh, convict people of sin, which was true. He told the truth. But what did Jesus do to stop him from having this power of death? Jesus took the law out of his hand. Look at verse 14. Blotting out the handwriting of audience that was against us. Well, what handwriting was against us? The law. 
So Satan uses the law to do what? To accuse the brother. Where you find that verse, accuse the brother? That's in Revelation. What did he accuse us of? Sinning against God. So how could he get away with it? Because the law said, you know, uh, to keep the whole, all the Ten Commandments. So every, everybody broke deal. Yeah. Everybody broke So Satan uh, even does this in the New Covenant. Even though Jesus has fulfilled this, he knows people are ignorant of the scripture. He still uses the same laws that he did before people got saved. He still uses the same way. He ain't changed. He ain't changed. He didn't say Jesus. I would say, but Satan still used the same technique. What do you use? He used the law of God, and then when people sin, and they sin a big sin, it, it messes with what? The thoughts. It messes with their emotions. It messes, and then what they do, they start to repent it. He liked that because most people don't know the right way how to repent. I don't repent to be forgive, forgiven. I repent because I'm already forgiven. Hallelujah. And I, I, repent, I repent not according to my knowledge. Not according to the sin. Oh, God, give me power to stop lying, stealing, and committing the Lord. No. Oh, you know, Jesus already died for that stuff. I commit like this. Thank you, Father God, for not remembering my sin. Now, that's the wrong way I repeat. That's according to Scripture and not according to you. Not according to the sin. You say, why should not name the sin? Okay. I can show you a scripture where the Bible says Jesus became sin. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The Bible says Jesus became sin himself. So if he became sin, is God still judging me for the sin that Jesus became? No, that don't make sense. Mm -hmm. Jesus became sin. Why is this good for us? First of all, Satan uses the law to accuse people of sin against God. Jesus said, I'm going to take the law out of his hand. Mm. So Hallelujah. Look, at look at that verse again. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinance that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing yes, it to his cross. How was this? How, how is this beneficial to us today as believers? Well, Satan cannot accuse us of breaking God's law. Because Jesus, what did Jesus do to law? Who knows? What did he do? He fulfilled. Write that verse down. What verse tells us that he fulfills the law? Who knows? You don't know. These verses is all for us to understand how to read the Bible. Right down Matthew 5 and 17. What, what it says? It says Jesus fulfilled the law. Jesus didn't come to keep the law. Jesus came to fulfill the law. But hold on, don't turn now. Just keep that as your notes. Look at Colossians again. After he nailed the cross, I mean, after he nailed the law to the cross, what else did he do? What did he do? About Satan and he having the power of death in his arsenal. Look at 15. You hear everybody got Colossians 2 15 says, and having all who? Them spirits. Them little spirits and powers. Made a show of who? Demons. Uh, he, a third of the angels Satan came, uh, brought with him to earth. Now these demons are like high places. Right? Yeah. So look, the Bible says Jesus, when he when he was, was crucified, he didn't, he didn't, they didn't take his life, the Bible says. The Bible says Jesus down. laid it down yeah. of his own free will. will. So when he why did he die? The Bible say, how did he stop death from reigning? The Bible says death reigned from Moses. What? From Adam to Moses. Death reigned from Moses. How did death, when did death, death stop reigning? When Jesus started reigning. Hallelujah! Yeah. When he said, now nah, it is finished. Thank you. And then what he said, okay, Satan has the power of death, right? Mm -hmm. But Jesus said, hold on now, watch yourself. I got all power. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh. I got power over every me. Yeah. Yes, yes Lord. He said, I got power over the death. Yes, Lord. And he said, hold on. I'm going to give you power over who? Yes, Lord. The devil. What verse is this? What verse tells us that he gives us power over the devil? Hallelujah. He gives us power over the devil. Go to Luke 10 and 19. In other words, once you realize in the Bible the verse that causes you to understand your own salvation yes, and the power that comes with that, 
You become what? Something to reckon with. Go to Luke 10. Jesus said, no, I know I got all power because I have died for all sin. But guess what? I want to give you some of this power. Yeah. All right? Right? Yeah. He said, I want to give you some of this power. Go, go to Luke. But I say, Luke 10. Amen. When you just say amen. In other words, when I, learn, when I read in the Bible, the power that God has given to me as a believer, I'm something to reckon with out there. In other words, I understand how to navigate this evil world. Look at Luke 10 and 19. He said, I, be, I became sin for your, on your behalf. I yes, defeated Lord. the devil on your behalf. But you know yes, what? Lord. He said, I want to give you power. Hallelujah. You got it? Amen. Verse 19, look at 18. First he said unto them in 18, Luke 10, 18. I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. When did he fall? Right after the war. He lost the war. He fell down from heaven. And guess what? Then he said, woke to the earth, leaping the cause havoc in the earth. But look, wow. Jesus said, okay, but I'm coming. That's why all the prophecies was written. Looking at Jesus. He said, behold, I give unto you. Now that's what I love to see. Power. Yeah. Power. Hallelujah. See that? When did we receive the power? The day we got saved. Before we read any scripture, learn anything in the Bible. No, you didn't get the power when you learned. You got the power day one. Yes, Lord. The day you believe. You say, hard not too hard. Yes, you Lord. might not know how to operate in it. You might not have to know how to interpret it. But it's inside of you. Oh, hallelujah, it may be Jesus. Laying dark and you might have to wake it up. You might have to feed it sometimes. But it's there. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You might have to learn stuff. You might have to stay up late sometimes. You might have to get in your closet sometimes. You might have to fast sometimes. Hallelujah. You might have to what? Pray a little longer sometimes. Hallelujah. Thank you. You Jesus. might have to use your weight as an arsenal sometimes. Sometimes. But you say, guess what? I'm giving you power yes, to Lord. tread on service. Mm. Yes, indeed. He did you. that day one. Yes, Lord. Not when I learned to do better. He did that when I didn't know no better. Yes, While I was yet in sin, the Bible said yes, he Lord. died for me. Yes, Lord. While I was the enemy of God, he died for me. Oh, hallelujah, yes, Jesus. While I was in darkness, he said, I can open your eyes. Yes, Lord. To look on the king of Israel. Yes, Lord. The God of Abraham, I was in Jesus. Yeah, I'm yeah. Oh, my, my, son. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. I'll bless you when you don't know you left a hand from the Yes, he will. I'll bless you when you don't oh, give me hand. Yes, hallelujah, Jesus. He let me know that I got power. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means curse you. Yes, Lord. Well, when you understand your book, yes, Lord. it ain't no better book written to me mm. like the Bible. Yes, like Lord. the Bible. It ain't no better book in the universe oh, thank you, like the Word of God. Thank when you know it for yourself, you can rejoice alone. Yes, Lord. When you know it for yourself, yes. you can be blessed by yourself. Mm. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. One yes. with God is the multitude. Mm. The scripture yes. says, yes. One with God yes. is the multitude. Satan, in all his power, could stop the resurrected Jesus. Mm. He couldn't stop him. He was the yes. alone. He said, You know what? Death is swallowed up. In victory. He said, I took the sting out of death that the devil had, and I gave it to you. Fear not. He said, Fear not. Never fear what might come, what might happen. Don't even fear if it chooses to even happen. He said, I'm telling you, the power to trap the book, stop the serpent, and all the powers associated. Look at God. Go back to Genesis. What a praise. Blessings what a praise. Let me finish. Go back to Genesis chapter 2. Yes, Lord. What a praise. Let 
Let's look at this thing. Hallelujah. In the name of the living. In the name of the living. Oh, oh. Look at the scripture here. In Genesis chapter 3. And this is one you, you got to really learn it. Just your ways, man. You know, we we are. We, 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 we serve the bills and, and when we, we when we're trying to pay God, you know, pay the God. Well, no. You serve God and pay the bills. No. How you know you how you know if you're serving the bills and paying God because they, they own you. When your bills own you, that means what you give God is what you got uh, left from the bills, but that ain't how it is. <laughs> you get a bill left out with your God because God is, a, God is not on the hell we live in uh, no other God. You say, why? That doesn't screw you. And no, that doesn't right. Yes, it is. Most yes, people God. say, well, no, I got to pay those yes, bills. Sir. That means you're telling yourself, you after so many, you just serving the bill. Yeah. Because why? Your bill level is abnormal. It's got to be. If you're so uh, stressed out behind those bills, that means you have you, you some. Somewhere in your life, you can stop paying them and you can start serving. Yeah. Yes, you're, you're serving. What? Because you're afraid. You're afraid of whatever happened if this and that. You, you'll stop paying and you'll start serving those bills. Yeah. And you know what? It's a thing that you can't serve to mass. Hallelujah! Oh, yeah. This ain't going to be the angel one! Hallelujah! Yes, yes, you told me that all the time. You know what? No, we don't serve no bills. He said, they're going to be here when you leave here, boy. Yes, I'm going to be with you yes. always, even yes. to the end of the world. Mm. He said, serve me. Yes. And that means serve him financially. Which, look, look at Genesis 3. Yes. Let me make my point. Go back to Genesis 3. Hallelujah. Bless this holy name. Yes, Lord. You know, talk, Solomon talks about this vanity and vexation of spirit. Yes, yes Lord. Yes, All Lord. my life. Yes, Lord. Life is full of vanity. Vexation. The wisest and richest man on the planet yeah. say life is full of beats and vexations of spirit. Of spirit. Oh, Sin had entered into the into the camp of Solomon. Look at look at uh 17. Okay. So you got Genesis 3 and 17. Amen. Let me finish up. I don't want to be too long. Genesis 3 and 17. This last point I want to make about how the Jesus destroyed. The works of the devil is in our ways, in our labor. Most people serve their labor, but not God. Look at something. And to Adam, he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and even of the tree of which I commanded thee, said, Thou shalt not eat of it. Curse is the ground. Oh, hallelujah. See, every human being on the face of the earth, they work on the ground. They work on the ground. Yeah. Every, every, every building is built on the ground. It's built on the ground. It's the earth. But you know, look, the Bible called Jesus, everybody say, the second half. The second half. If you, if you want to see, you look at, look at, hallelujah. Look at, hmm, Corinthians, Corinthians 15. 15. But let me show you, what, 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 see, when Adam messed up, and, and, and the ground was cursed because of his sin against God. Look, God began to rewrite a new covenant. <laughs> yes, he did. He said, you know what? I'm going to rewrite. I, I know we have messed it up, but I'm going to rewrite everything. Look, look at 1 Corinthians 15. We get the same way. When you know how to find stuff in the Bible, you're going you gonna to learn. He said, you're going to come to understand. You're going to start learning Amen. to understand the word of God. 15. Blessed be his name. Look, look at verse 45 and hold your hand in Genesis. See, Jesus said, I'm going to be the second out because I'm going to redo what Adam did. Everybody got 15 and 45? And, and so he is written. 15 of Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, verse 45. Jesus then went back in Genesis and redid and made the new covenant that's built on belt. Look what he said. And so it is written, the first man Adam was made a living soul. But that last Adam, that's Jesus, was made a quickening spirit. It took a, another spirit to deal with a spirit, right? Not a man. Jesus said, I'm spirit. 
too, not the devil. You know, the other spirit too, and I come and fast to tear your blood. I come <laughs> made that and fast your blood to what? He said, I, I came and fast your blood to, 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 to deliver those that was held captive all of their name. Yes, by the belt. In other words, held in bondage all these things. Yes, I'm going to come and fast your blood, but I am the son of the living God. <laughs> go back. Now, now let's deal with the lady. Go, go back to Genesis 3. And Adam, this is what Adam felt when he sinned. He called everybody to live under that the, the law of God, because God brought the law in. And the law did what? The law condemned you. The law showed to your sin. And then that's when God gave all them curses in, in Deuteronomy 28. Curse for this, curse for that, curse. But the Bible says in Galatians that Jesus became a curse. Yeah. Don't believe really it. 3 and 13. Jesus became a curse. Look at. 17. Thou shalt not eat of it, cursed is the ground for thy sake, and sorrow to thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. Now, let's go to the Bible. Jesus re re rewrites all of Jesus. Uh -huh. you, you ain't gonna live like this. Okay, the salvation pact has so much power because the salvation pact begin to give us knowledge and wisdom in our ways. Even people that give up their time is still, that's how they count ways by how much time you put in. So time actually is a tool God uses to count faith or count the ways. And I'm telling you, Satan uh, got, got, got a, 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 a foothold or he has, has power over people in, in, in LA. In other words, he knew how to cause people to fear enough not to serve God or trust God in their ways. And he still do that all over the church. But look, go go to Malachi. This is God show. Now think about the what it says, the ground, what it says, the ground is cursed for God's sake. Mm -hmm. God showed me this in Malachi. It was amazing how the Holy Spirit yes, would show you an answer yes, if you seek me. He yes. said, seek my face, you shall find. Yes. Look at look at Malachi. I'm going to show you almost the same verse. Remember, who, who, who causes uh, this stuff? Satan is uh, come to kill, steal, and to destroy. Jesus came to give life and give it to you more abundantly. Now remember, uh, uh, God said, curse the ground for, for your sake because you have sinned against me. But look, look at Malachi. Look, look, look at how <laughs> Jesus turns this curse around. It starts with a curse, but look what Jesus how Jesus turns it wrong. Everybody got Malachi 3? Look at verse uh, 8. You know, I mean, it's an old scripture, but I'm going to show you more. In, you can read it, but let me give you more insight here. Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me, but ye say, Where is Have we robbed you? In Titus 8, 3 and 8, or Malachi, right before Matthew. In Titus and often. Now, now listen to this. You are cursed for the curse. All is according to the law. This is not according to the new covenant. This is according to the old covenant. You are cursed for the curse, for you don't rob me even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house, and prove me now, spirit with, said the Lord of hosts. If I would not open you the windows of the heaven and pour you out a blessing that you have not room enough to receive. Now listen to this. Listen to this. The one person that caused us to, to, to uh, lose a, a stay party and all our lifetimes to the, the point according to Hebrews 2 and 14 is Satan. Yes, Lord. Satan is a master in deceiving people in their own way, in their own ways. Look what he says. He says, and I will, because remember, he, nobody can rebuke okay. Satan by Adam. <laughs> you say all your days now you're going to live like this. But for us, look what he says. And I will rebuke. I will rebuke who? Satan. For, yes, for your sakes, meaning us. And he shall not, what? Okay, in Genesis, he destroyed, he, uh, God destroyed, because Adam, I mean, because Satan got tempted to sin against God. The same Satan, he said, he shall not destroy, you can say, the labor of your hands, the fruit, what? Of your wow. ground. Yes, Lord. Neither shall your vine cast or fruit before the time in the field of the Lord of hosts. In other words, he has to get a foothold in my ways and cause me what? To, to, to betray God. Yes, yes. 
But the one thing people will not uh, support with is their finances. And Satan knows that from watching man all these thousands of years. Because what? Uh, he knows there's too many problems in life. Uh, things get heavy on a person, which way they're going to give it. And that's the only way a person is going to understand in the, in the body of Christ, the church, the living with Christ. It's as simple as that. Look, if you get into this, Satan know this is the only way God will make it what, back out. Because what? Your, your, there's an amazing thing happens when you give a lot. Your fear level starts going down. Yeah. It's amazing how your fear level that was way off the chain begin to decrease. The more you give, the more you, you get confident in what you speak, say. It begin to change your even thought process. The Bible says take on the mind of Christ. Despite all the trouble you're going to have, all the, 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 the black things, look, keep giving. God said he, his word would not return to the problem of the thing he sent to. Once I get to the point where the fear level is, is at an all time low, I begin to soar. He said, because what? He's in, in Romans 5 and 17, you should reign by the gift of grace and, and, and by the, 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 the gift of righteousness. Read Romans 5 and 17. And as we begin to reign, we begin to what? Get understanding how to, like Jim said, oh, I, I got to begin to. Press my way, pray about the pray for my boy, pray for my co workers. Begin to believe yes, God Lord. for the increase, believe God for the sale, the bosses. Yes, when they gonna have to come? Because what you speak in the word, the yes, power of life and death is in the tongue. Yes, Satan knows that what I speak the word, don't hold you. How bad is seen is just something you don't heard. Satan, uh, uh, uh mouth become louder as I get closer to that blessing. Yes. Things can happen that you wouldn't believe that are going yes, on in your life. Yes, this 20 some years of teaching this. Yes, it ain't going to get no easier. You, you just get to take on bigger things. Yes, Lord. And he said, principalities in high places. But God yes, said, Lord. if you stand yes, me, Lord. I'll make every demon vow. Yes, yes Hallelujah. With a good testimony, this yes, lady. Yes. You ought to go home and watch this on Netflix. Yes. Her name is Miss Virginia. She lived in a poverty street in Washington, D.C. Okay. Her son was going to a school, a public school, and you know, uh, kids can learn it's getting chopped up, beat up. And you know, so she, you know, she's like, man, I gotta get my, my son out of this school. He's gonna get killed to him. She tried to get a son. Now she lived in Washington, D.C. in a poverty street in place. Hard to get on Washington. So she's like, well, man, I wanna let my son go to this private school. She go there, you know, she don't have money. And so she, she tried to get her son on the road, she, and they, they said, okay, you know, somebody she got to over, they say it's $3,000 a semester and $7,000 a, a full year. She don't know what she was coming with this money. She got a job working for the company store, which was black in Washington, D.C., cleaning the bathroom, <laughs> wiping the floor. And so she was in the trash. She saw a book, a true story in a trash can about public education and all of the, the uh, the, the finance that, that she read, loud. And she's seen, and it is true, in a public school, where both teachers, they give, and why they give $14,000 a kid. That was back in 2003, yeah. four, whatever. And she said, but only her school was for $7,000. She's working for the congresswoman woman as a maid cleaning the house. The congresswoman woman tell us, the man on, on the end of the book said, look, he just trying to keep black people down, but it's her love. She wouldn't let it go. She read the whole book. She went to one of them parents' uh, meetings or whatever, <laughs> eight PTA with the coming from all of those books. And, and she went and she's like, hey, you know, how is the y'all got giving all this money per kid, but they're not learning that they're getting retained, you know, they get jumped on and everything. And then we can go and I can get myself in a private school with seven thousand dollars, but nobody will help the kid. She had to go away to Congress. This lady kept fighting. While she was doing this, the drug dealers came to get us. <laughs> the lady was catching them with pure hell, working two jobs. She had to take her son out of private school, didn't have the money, but she vowed. She said, I want to get you back in that school. This lady fought that bill. She got the people in the community to help her. Drug dealers. The mother, the guy, 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 guy got killed because he had to get all those signatures. She did the, the, she did the, 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 the footwork. She went door to door. Got them signatures. Look, even the man that wrote the book, I'm 
gonna tell you how hard life is down there. The man that wrote the book showed her that that's what was possible. But you know what he told her? No, I'm not gonna. <laughs> she went to his office, she said, what? No, she's like, yeah, if you don't give nothing to you a black holy woman, all y'all poverty and y'all don't have no sense. She's like, y'all not gonna help me. They was sick. The lady kept fighting. Yeah, she fine. went on, yeah, on yeah, got all those temperatures. She went back and fought that 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 white man on the golf course playing golf. She said, you gonna help me He helped her. The lady was counted out from the gate. The lady didn't have nothing. The lady got all them kids and wife to got a nuclear pass where they overthrew the, the, the public schools and the funds, and they started letting them put them kids in private schools what? where they can learn to get ahead in life. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth, and this is the honest God truth. If you get on this financial uh, platform with God, even your loved ones are no one ain't gonna touch it. Man, people tell me you still have to be held down. <laughs> Why? Because nobody wanna come off that money. But I'm telling you, hey, I, I believe this wholeheartedly. I'm telling you, this is the, the, the last inning. Is that the financial deal? You, you, you gotta do this whether you, you believe or not, read up your own Bible. But I guarantee you, you, you you'll thrust yourself to the good life. Amen. Jesus went up on that cross. You know, what he, you know what he told his father? He said, you know what? I will become poor that they may be <laughs> He said, I will take on poverty. One of the things he took on was poverty. He yes, became he poor. But he said, that y'all may be poor. Oh, you know what he said? He said, I will give you all the grace you need. Mm. While I was watching it, he said, Stacey, won't you just go to Calvary for the poor, the fearful, the, the ones that are held captive, to destroy the works of the devil? Satan don't never want you to have nothing. But Jesus said, if I can, if you can trust me quite enough, I, I can take you anywhere you want to go. Hallelujah. I, I, I can stop uh, you having to live from hand to foot. It's about finance down there, man. It, there's no other way but about finance according to the knowledge of truth. Teach yourself this word, put your money with it, and you'll be able to what? One day, maybe 20 years from now, to 20 years, you'll be able to live a good life. My Lord. Let's give him a hand.